Hello you guys, I am back today with another quick weave. This is going to be an invisible part. I'll paste all information down at the bottom um, where I got this hair from. The hair that I'm going to be using is by Sensational. Um, it's called Premium 2. It's 100% human and natural hair. I'm not sure if that means blended, but whatever. Human Hair Yaki Natural Weave. I got it in an 18 inch, a, a 18 inch, a 16 inch, as well as the 14 inch. As I go along, I will show you guys the length of the hair. This is the 18 inch hair. So, I'm already molding my hair. I made a video on it. If you guys would like, you can go and check that out. Um, the glue I'm going to be using today, as usual, is going to be the Salon Pro 30 Second Anti-Fungus Glue. You guys know I love that glue. That's my favorite ever. I molded my hair with Growth Protect Solution. Once again, the way I molded my hair is the video before this one. So... You guys can go check that out if you haven't seen it before you ask me how I molded my hair. I did make a video on it. So we are going to get started on it. Okay, you guys, I'm finished with the 18. Um, this is the 18. I am now going to start with the 16 inch. Um, some people have been asking me, well, one person, I noticed a couple people in my other videos, they made comments about my hair was thin to be three packs of hair. I don't use the entire pack of hair. I only use about half a pack of the hair or so or however much of the pack of the hair that I feel that I would like to use. I don't use the in I don't use the entire pack of hair. So in case you guys were wondering, no, I don't use the entire pack of hair. I only used about half of the pack of hair. I don't use the whole thing. This is the 16 inch hair. And I'm going to get started. Hello you guys. So far I have used half a pack of 18 and half a pack of 16. Now I'm on my 14 um, inch pack of hair. Um, I am most likely going to use the entire 14 inch pack of hair because you guys know I have to finish the rest of my hair with this as well as um, I have to um, do the invisible part with this hair so the pack the entire pack of 14 inch hair will most likely be used this is the 14 inch hair so i want to get started
Hello you guys. I am back and I am done with my invisible part as you can see. I just did um, made a video on um, how to do the closure. So you guys can check that out if you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my closure right up in here. And push down. And I'm just going to smooth the hair over to make sure that it's flat and everything while continuing to hold it down. And twist it a little bit just to make sure it's in there. I don't need it coming out on me. Kind of embarrassing if the closure comes out. So I'm just going to twist, 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 twist. If I had my blow dryer then, you know, I'd be finished. I wouldn't stay here this long, but I was lazy and I didn't feel like using my blow dryer. Plus my husband sleep, so I didn't feel like making all that noise. Just twisting. And there you have your closure in my invisible part, as you guys can see. I hope you guys can see that. There's my closure right there, and this is my invisible part. I am, though, going to shape this hair to fit my face because it is a tad bit long in the face area. So I'm just going to brush it out. I'm going to comb it out with this one wide tooth comb. Show you guys how it looks. Once again, I'm not going to cut it a whole lot, just around the face area. So it can fit my face. Once again, I used the, um, I took the paper out, but, um, this is, here is by Sensational. I think it's called Premium 2 or something like that. I used the 18 inch, a 14 inch, and a 16 inch. So, what, I'm going to show you the hair. This is the hair. Hope you guys can see how the hair looks that from the back. It looks on the back and now I'm going to take my razor comb and just give the hair some shape. But I will tell you guys ahead of time the only drawback that I have so far from this hair um, no shedding or whatever but the hair is really soft you guys it is super soft to me the only my only drawback as of right now is that um it does have have um a little too um many split ends for my liking but you know this is a lower uh lower quality hair i try to you know stay in a nice price range for me as for a lot of people who are on a, a budget or whatever so what I want to do is just get the hair and give it some shape this part of the video will be kind of speeded up and this is my razor comb I'm using that you guys always see me use I got it at my local beauty supply store where I work Okay, you guys, um, I have cut it to frame my face, as you can see. I just put um, um, a few layers in there, just so it could frame my face a little bit more. I put this hair on my head because I wanted some straight hair, so <laughs> don't look forward to seeing any curls or anything in this one because I wanted some straight hair. And I want it long straight here, so that is it. I'm done. Um, I have no idea what I did with the tags to his hair, but like I said, you saw it in the beginning.
Oh, I am super sorry, you guys. My camera cut off. But while my camera was, well, I had to load my video on the on computer. But anyways, I have wrapped my hair. Let me tell you guys, whew, it really does take a lot of hairpins to wrap longer hair. I mean, on um, duck bill clips. Um, I don't know if I have a tutorial on how I wrap my my um straight hair. So I forgot if I made one or not. But if I didn't make one, you guys. You know just let me know and i'll make one for you so okay i'm going to go to sleep now because it's really late please rate this video thumbs up or thumbs down don't um remember if you have any questions any comments anything you would like to know please leave them down at the bottom and i will be doing an update on this hair because i've never used this hair before so and i'm pretty sure a few of you guys use it and would like to know you know know how my hair held up so i'll let you guys know in a later video thank you so much i love you guys bye